Bangsu Junction is a shopping mall, a, a shopping center right across the road from the Chatachak Weekend Market, which is a very famous weekend market here in Thailand. I went there ostensibly to meet my friend Marcus and have lunch, but within the Bangsu Junction Market are many, many stalls and stores that sell antiques and, and used clothing, antique clothing. And I found myself, you know, it's time to set this video up. This video is going to be about a photo shoot. Not long ago, I was watching one of my favorite photographers online. I've talked about him before. And I watched Peter Coulson's videos because he models artistry in his photography. And he did a, a photo shoot with a rock and roll theme. And I was like, wow, I could do that. I have the perfect model for it. Ying! Ying agreed to the photo shoot and we had a good pair of boots, a good pair of pants, but I needed some rock and roll shirts. So I ventured forth to the Bangsu market and found ample rock and roll clothing and inspiration. So part of setting up for my rock and roll photo shoot is getting proper clothing. Now we have shorts, we have boots, we have, uh, we don't have the tops. And this is a perfect place for getting rock and roll duds. We even have, uh, you know, proprietors of this particular stall look like they're in perfect character. <laughs> so what they got? I mean, do they say rock and roll or do they say rock and roll? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> cop and cop. This is kind of a new thing for me, you know, shopping for a 19-year-old uh, a model doing a rock and roll themed photo shoot. And there's one back here. Yeah, I think I'm going to buy two more. These are things I like to do in retirement. <laughs> I came to Asia 12 years ago. And I was living in Singapore for four years, and I was quite happy in Singapore. I would have stayed there. But what brought me to Singapore was a job. I was working there, and I had a work permit that permitted me to stay in the country. When I retired, Singapore didn't have a visa for me, so I investigated a bunch of other countries in Asia. I'd fallen in love with Southeast Asia, and I wanted to stay here. And I investigated Indonesia and Vietnam and the Philippines and Thailand, and I settled on Thailand for a number of reasons, but a big one is the availability of toys. <laughs> so here I am at 73 years of age, feeling very fortunate that I have found a new hobby to be passionate about. When I started shooting videos in earnest about three years ago, I also got into still photography and I went down that rabbit hole and you know, I'm really, really enjoying it. And it's a way of, me finding some self-expression in a medium that, that, that I'm enjoying. It's a, it's a little bit technical. I guess it's a lot technical and it keeps me busy studying this stuff. And as I get better at it, I look to buy more equipment. And they have that here in Bangkok. Fortune Town is where I bought much of this stuff. This is a, a Spotlight, a Chinese brand, uh, inexpensive. And I also got my main uh, lighting system is a, a Godox uh, spotlight up here, and uh, that's really uh, shining brightly into the lens, but that's what it does. It shines brightly. It's an adjustable. It's a wonderful uh, piece of equipment. There it is over there. I got that in, uh, in, in Fortune Town as well. Uh, reflectors, tripods, this stand over here is going to hold a backdrop that we're going to use for the rock and roll photo shoot. And of course, yesterday I showed you how we were over in Bungsu Junction picking out some clothing for the photo shoot. Also, what's available here in Bangkok are several uh, Apple retailers, uh, in addition to a, a gigantic signature store from Apple. That's just beautiful. And you could get whatever you need if you want to go in. Of course, you could get it online as well. They have, you know, delivery services. But I use Apple to do my editing along with Adobe software. Adobe software, of course, you buy online. You could do that anywhere in the world. But yeah. You know, having these consumer goods available is important because 
you know, I, I like this stuff and I'm really, like I said, I'm enjoying this, this pursuit of photography and videography. And that's what we're gonna do uh, right now. We're gonna get the girls up here, set up the backdrop and do a rock and roll photo shoot. play guitar when I was like her age. That was a really long time ago. But, you know, this is what I do for fun today. Uh, these are my two lovely models, Ying and Java Kao. And um, so uh, I'll put up a bunch of photographs. Again, I got a lot of really uh, kind of cool photographs. I accomplished what I wanted to do, was, which was to get lens flare. That means, you know, the, the, the light, the backlight behind uh, the models reflecting off the hair and uh, yeah I'll put a bunch of pictures up at the end you can take a look at it see if you like them and uh, I love living in Thailand thanks for watching see you soon bye bye <music>